Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTV. Oh, this is awesome. We're gonna create our first Vision Pro, Vision OS app. Um, so to get these um, software at the moment, you're gonna need a developer's account. So you're gonna need a free developer's account, doesn't cost any money, and you're looking for Xcode 15 Beta 2. So when I click on what I can download, I'm looking for the Vision OS 1 Beta. So we're looking to build for the Vision Pro, and we're looking for that SDK and it comes with Xcode. So we're not gonna go into programming too much, so don't worry too much, but we're going to need those resources. Reality Composer Pro will be part of that Vision OS. So let's go up to our spotlight. You can see here, my Xcode beta's come up, which is great. We can kind of, just so that you can see that, um, I've downloaded it, it's quite a big file. And also, Reality Composer Pro has also come. So if I search for those, double check that you've got them, which is great. And we're gonna jump straight into it. We're not gonna go into a lot of technical speak today. We're just gonna get you started and hopefully you can have some success. So let's get in, let's type in Xcode and go to our beta and we'll open that up and give you a quick look at it. We're going to, oh yes, we're gonna definitely say okay. We're gonna create our first project on the left here. I've already created a few. Um, I'm gonna create my first project and just show you through how we can make it snow, which is cool. Now these ones, make sure that you've got Vision OS um, selected there. We wanna create that. Uh, you can do all platforms and, and different things, but we're gonna go Vision OS. Let's focus on this. So we can give it a product name. This is kind of the name of the file or the product. I might just call that Snow One. Uh, the team, just select Paul or your personal um, team account. It's more for developers. You can just put in a random organizer and bundle ID at the moment. Um, they're more for the development phase and deployment. We won't go into that too much, but for this initial one, we want the initial scene to be Windows and the immersive spaces to be mixed so that we can play around with those two different scenes. Give it a name, give it an organizer, make those up if you need to, and just find a location where to put all your files. Might put them on my desktop at the moment, and I'm going to press create. That's looking pretty good. Now, don't get overwhelmed by this. This is okay. We're only gonna be touching a few things today. Um, it would be great if you can see at the top here, we've got all of our builds that are happening. Give that plenty of time to build out. And then what we're going to be doing is basically just looking at a couple of these areas. Um, but most of all, just be really patient with it. It takes us a little while to build and to load things. So we're only gonna to be touching a few of these things on the left-hand side. We'll definitely be looking at our content view and our immersive view. Gives a little bit of a preview on the right-hand side in regard to our windows, but we're not gonna worry about that too much. Let me just quickly get that big enough. I'm gonna play around with the view a little bit so that you can see, which is great, move through. Don't forget, you can kind of zoom in a little bit if you need to at different stages. So gonna be looking at content view, definitely looking at the two different aspects, and I'm gonna show you how we can access the snow scene, which is our immersive scene that we're actually gonna create and actually build out of as well. So we've got our views at the top now. We can also go down to our reality kit package. So if I click on this and open this up, can you see down the bottom under Reality Kit, we've got our package on the left. So bottom left there, you'll see the, let me just get this sorted. Let me get this sorted a little bit so that you can see, I'm gonna make that big. Um, so for those people that don't know, the Reality Composer is very similar to the one on iOS or iPad OS, um, but it's a little bit different in regard to, it's a bit more of a developer um, version, this pro version. So I'm gonna click on down here, this package, and you can see here, it gives me a bit of a preview of Reality Composer, but I'm not actually in the app. So what I need to do is in that Reality Kit section, I click on the package, and what I'm gonna do is open in Reality Composer Pro. That will enable me to add 3D models, create my snow, and do some pretty cool stuff going forward. So we wanna go down to package once again, can't do anything in that screen because we actually need to open up Reality Composer. And we're gonna work in that file, that package file that is already built into this kind of demo um, project that we're in at the moment, if that makes sense. So we're gonna kind of keep, we won't import a new package in, we're just gonna actually deal with it. Um, how does it look? So when I press play at the top, before I jump into Reality Composer, you can see here I can press play at the top and run the build. And what it will do is it will open up Vision Pro Simulator 
and give me a little bit of a quick look at what that app is currently looking like. You can see the little apple, like a faded apple in the background. Sometimes I have to run that build a couple of times and you can see that it's come up with a little window and that is my content view. So I can select a different, um, different space for it if I wanted. And what it's trying to do is open my app. So it's trying to open that application, but I don't have a lot of content in there yet, but it will give me a quick look. Just while that's opening, you can see down the bottom, I've got different move um, tools that I can move around my space. Probably the one that's good is this one here, where I can actually kind of pan around a little bit my space and kind of walk through it. So when I press play, it takes a little while to build out that app for the first time. But once it's built out, you'll see that it brings up the content view. Here it is here. I'm gonna to toggle on my click. So I click on that toolbar so I can click on my immersive view. And it comes up with those two spheres that are in my immersive view scene. Remember that? It was in Reality Composer Pro. So that's the one we're gonna um, alter. So let's, um, we can drag those things around. We can actually make things bigger. You can play around with the simulator quite a lot, but the main thing is that it's running the program that we're about to create in, which I'm super excited about here. So I might just hit the cross and get out of my simulator for a second. And when that happens, you'll see that it runs the program and it gives you a little bit of a summary. But what you need to do is go to the left menu. Let me come over here at the moment. See this left menu on the side up here. We wanna go back to our folder view so we can see our content view and our immersive view as well. Don't worry about warnings at the moment. We can handle those a little bit later on. Um, so we've got our different views. That's looking great. We've got our Reality Composer view. And what we wanna do now is jump into Reality Composer Pro and start building this out a little bit. So let's go down, open up our Reality Kit, go down to our package. And we want to open up for the very first time Reality Composer Pro. Let's do it. do is open up Reality Composer Pro, which is part of Xcode, and you can see here it opens it up in a new scene, which is pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we've got two spheres. That's that reference point that we can use in regard to looking at it um, in Vision Pro. And what we're gonna do is because I'm doing snow, I'm gonna do a couple of changes first. First thing I'm going to do is go up to Reality Composer Pro and go to my settings. Now my snow is gonna be white. So what I really need to do here is in the viewport, just make sure it's a kind of a dark color. If it's white, I'm not gonna be able to see my particles that well. So just change it to a darker color. I'm gonna go second from black, which is great. And now we're ready for our snow scene, creating our particles. So let's get started. Now, I'm not gonna go into Reality Composer Pro with in depth here. Um, we're just gonna go into the basics and how to get started and how it connects to Xcode in regard to running that build. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom left here where it's got the plus. And this is where we can create our snow and we're gonna use a particle emitter. So I'm gonna click on that once. Now, it doesn't look like it's done much, right? But if I press play up here, you can see that particle emitters has come up in my properties. And when I press play, you can see that there's some particles being emitted. And I can drag the green up here to kind of raise it this is my X, Y, and Z um, area here that I can kind of raise and I can rotate, rotate from the sides and I can move my little emitter around. Don't forget, you've got your edit undo button if you're not too sure with the moving. But you can see here, I actually wanna move mine kind of as a reference point over near those two spheres just to make a point. And it kind of gives me a bit of a reference when I look at it inside my app itself. So that's looking pretty good. Let me just move that over and get that a little bit more set up. So this is not the emitter that I want. This is almost like a heat emitter that I could change it to kind of like a flame or some smoke or something like that. We've actually got some presets. So if I go over here to my little menu, see the little menu here next to my particle emitter, you'll see that I can make some clouds and smoke and rain and different things. I'm gonna create some snow. So if I click on snow, it actually gives me a really good reference point. It's a little bit too small. I want it coming down from the ceiling, but you can see here, it's kind of created um, a little snow scene 
in regard to that area. Now, this is where we can have some fun and really play around with things. The emitter is the thing that's generating the snow. The particles are the snow itself. So let's have a look at the, the emitter first and see if we can change that a little bit. The first thing we're gonna to do to the emitter is we're gonna make sure that the shape is a plane. So up here, if I selected point, you'll notice that the snow comes out of a single point, which is cool, but not exactly what we want with snow. We actually want it coming out like a plane, like a flat surface at the top, like a roof. So I'm gonna select plane. The birth location, um, we can change that to volume so that it's gonna fill our room a little bit more and actually give us that kind of density that we want. The, um, the birth direction we're gonna set as local. We can go through that a little bit later, but just following this tutorial at the moment. And then the other thing we're gonna do is scale this up a little bit. So I'm gonna scale this up to 0.5 in regard to my emitter itself and just see how that looks. 0.5, 0.5. You can see here I've got a bigger area now that it's actually emitting from and it's kind of a little bit more random. Now it's not going down all the way yet, so we kind of need to have a play around with that a little bit, but that's a really good start. If you can remember the concept of emitter as where it's coming out and changing the overall scene, the overall kind of body of the emitter and the particles of the snow itself. Let's go down and just see if there's anything else we need to change. Um, speed is okay at the moment. That's looking pretty good. Um, one thing to be aware of is uh, scale is pretty good. We could scale that up, but I'd rather scale up the snowflakes themselves and make them a little bit um, bigger if I can. Now, a lot of this is trial and error. You'll find some really great effects, but I'm kind of liking the size. I might want it a bit bigger. So I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit more to 0.7. And we can always go back and change that after we preview the app itself. That's looking really good. It's a nice big area. We can move that round a little bit more. We could actually raise it up to this off the ceiling a little bit more. That's looking really good. Now we want our snow to go down a little bit further. We can do that somewhere else. We'll have a look at that um, as we go through in regard to what we can do there. Speed. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good. Let's have a look at our particles, the actual snowflakes. Um, the birth rate's 500. I'm gonna change that to 200 just so that we don't have as much memory being used in regard to how much is being produced. Uh, the burst count's okay, the angle's okay. Now this is where I can change the color of my snow. If I had a very light area, I might make them a little bit darker if I had a light room. Um, we've got some different things that we can change the color. That's super cool. The particles and the image, we're gonna just use that. That's all great. The size, this is what I wanna change. I wanna make these snow a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go to 0.4 and just see how that looks. You can see now my snow has got quite big particles coming through, which is really nice. But it still doesn't go down enough. See how it's not, it's kind of stopping. It's kind of got a lifespan of a certain amount of seconds and then they just dissipate. So what I need to do is down here, can you see that where it says lifespan? By the way, if you hover your mouse over or your cursor over each of those, it tells you what it's doing. Let's make that eight and just see how many seconds that and if that changes. You can see now my, my snow is going right down to the ground and actually evolving for about eight seconds. I'm gonna make that 10. And then I reckon we're almost done. How easy is that? Um, you'll have lots of fun changing your different settings and what you need to do. It's a little bit dense at the moment. Let's oversize it. Size of life is good. The size, I'm gonna go up to a 0.6 and see if I can really have us moving some with some really kind of thickish aspects. Hey, that's looking pretty good for my snow. I'm happy with the size. Let's test that out and see how it looks. First thing I'm gonna do is in Reality Composer Pro, I'm gonna to go to File and Save. I'm gonna minimize. Now, sometimes this takes a little bit um, running this a couple of times to actually work. Can you see here in Reality Composer, it hasn't updated, that's fine, it's particles. Um, you're not gonna get a really great preview when we do these kind of particles. But what I would love you to do is go back up to your content view, right up here, and be patient and press the play. So that's going to build this out. You'll see that it's waiting, it's installing and it's building. It'll give you a little kind of sound effect to say that it's launching. And then hopefully it will also launch 
the Vision Pro Simulator or the Vision OS Simulator down the bottom. So what we're looking for is a new kind of um, simulator build that opens up like this. You can see now it's launching in a certain area. Um, just be a little bit patient with this. We'll go through what the simulator does. You can see here, I've got the Make It Snow. I'll show you how to change that to Make It Snow. And if I click down the bottom here, that allows me to click on certain spaces. So if I click on that once, oh, how good does this look? It's looking really good in regard to my slow. It's coming down over the top. It might be a little bit too thick, but I kind of wanted that kind of feeling. We've made it snow. You can see here, I can alter some things from the roof if I wanted to. Reality Composer Pro lets me do a whole range of different things. Now I can click off that show immersive space and it goes away. Down the bottom here of our simulator, this is the one that we use to actually click on. And we've got some other things like a ways of moving around. So we kind of might move around from here. We can kind of move around. We can also go up to the top and change the different environments. So I might say that I want to be in the museum. It will change that for us. And so when we go back on our click and we click on show immersive space, it will do that snow in that different kind of space that we've actually got now. It'll be a good test to see how far and the lifespan of these different ones, which is good. Hey, that's looking really good. By the way, this window here, we can move by dragging that little kind of palette to the side. And then we can really enjoy moving through that snow and making that snow. How good does that look? You guys have been terrific. You've created your first little particles. You've made it snow, which is awesome. Um, I did want to show you how to change a few little things while I've got you. So what I'm going to do is hit my little cross at the top here. And then I'm going to click back on my folder, folder over here on the left hand side. I'm going to go to my content view and see where it says text. I think yours says show immersive view or space. You can change that to whatever you want. So I made it make it snow with a, maybe capitals. And so when I preview that, that will come up. You can also change this one here um, as well, but don't change too much of the other at this stage. Don't forget our app is called Snow One App. So if we build that one more time, I'm gonna replace and just see how that builds out. This might be a little bit quicker this time in regard to the simulator itself. It's given me a little ding saying, I think I'm ready. It'll give me that apple. Sometimes you've got to run the build again. And then hopefully on that first page, you'll be able to see that I changed the snow to capital letters as well. So it takes a little while to open that up. In regard to, you can see there that I changed the capital letters to snow. I sh click on show immersive space. I move my window to the side and I've got that beautiful space here. Now you can turn off definitely, you can turn off those spheres. I like to keep the spheres there just initially, just in regard to perspective and those different areas. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was your first step into the realm of Xcode and Reality Composer and creating for Vision Pro and Vision OS. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.